I must. Hungry. He Whoa. probably smelled our food. Either that or <laughs> he liked the sound of your piping. <laughs> of, course, of course. He's probably a performing bear. He must have been attracted by Harold's tin whistle. Hey, where are you going? Oh, you go on. I'll catch you up later. Harold! Harold! Stupid little idiot. Joe, he's a friend. John? Yes, it's really me. You ain't scared of a little thing like me, are you, Wishy? I'm sorry. I was thinking of the bear, and you gave me such a fright. What are you doing here? I came to warn you. They know where you are. Sergeant Bunting's on his way now, to your hut. It was awfully brave of you, Angela, to come all this way on your own. It was a bit scary. I think I got lost. I'll take you back to the road. Oh, no, you won't. You'll find your brothers and lie low till it's dark. I don't want to see hair or hide you near my hut until Bunting's been and gone. Well, go, lad, go. Thanks, Angela. We'll make it up to you. I promise we shall. Come on, Bang. Sorry about the birthday party.
You're here at last. Thought you were off to see smoke, oh, Sarge. I've been trapped up that tree. What? The bear, man, the bear. I've been up there for hours. Attacked by birds. Well, where is he, then? Where's Caliban? He went off over there. Followed the music. Music? <laughs> Not the flute it was. Came from over there. You were up a tree and you heard music? <laughs> I'm calling this up off. We resume tomorrow. You were attacked by birds? I'm not staying in this forest after dark. They must have thought you were a large blue owl, Sarge. Sitting in their tree. Stop! Do it again. What's up? The place is swarming with men. We'll have to lie low till dark. I haven't heard anybody. Come on, let's go. There's the road now. You know who you are now. You're safe now. Thanks, Smoker. If he ever gets all those lads, he'll tear them apart. Lucky your escape so lightly. Lucky? What are you talking about lucky? It's got nothing to do with luck, mate. Oh. Tactics, man, tactics. Boxing clever, matching animal cunning with human logic. I so if we go due east from the riding here, about 300 yards, we get to the stream here. And the hollow oaks this side of it. Right, Arthur? That's right, miss. Thank you, Arthur. Pay him, Jack. And Arthur, if for any reason we don't find the hollow tree, we'll know where to come, won't we? Mean. Thanks, sir. And what about tomorrow? You'd best keep away from here during the day. And only come back 
when it gets darkish. Well, I could go pigeon shooting. We've got to check the deadfall. We might have caught a badger. Mm. Or a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Bark. Have you died in there? No, I'm coming out. There's not enough light. Take some more outside and then let's go. Oh, frozen. This place gives me the creeps. You mean to tell me those kids lived in there for over six months? Well, after that old battle axe at the Dower House, it must have seemed like paradise. Well, they keep warm and cook. You can't have a fire in a tree. Oh, hold it! Oh. So now you know. Photograph, Jack. Dragging their anchors before the day's out. Can't be far ahead now. Gosh, I hope so. A real blizzard. 
Stratford. We might get snowed in at Smoko's. Well, at least no one will come and bother us if we are. I'm glad we're in the hut now, and not that old tree. Look, I think we ought to split up. You follow the trap lines, and I'll go to the deadfall. Leave the cooker that way. What's the matter? I heard something. Like a horse neighing. Come on. She's going the right way. I thought the car was in the opposite direction. Shut up and come on. I should have bought a gun. I don't fancy that damn grey bear coming up on, from behind. They spent days searching the forest. He's obviously not in the chase any longer. Well, they never did find him, did they? I bet he's ravenous by now. Oh, I need a drink. You need a gag. Well, now, what have we here? Take a picture, Jack. Of a dirty saucepan? Don't be ridiculous. We're taking this back with us. It could be anyone's picnic party or poacher or something. It could be, but I bet it's come from the Dower House kitchen. Come on. more comfortable living with smoke. Hey, look! It's a fox. I thought it was a badger. I'm really quite glad it wasn't. It'll make a lovely muff. Who for? Aunt Ellen won't want an old fox skin. She's got a sable muff. I'll get Smoko to cure it. He'll make a much better job than me. Robin will try and bag the skin for himself. Well, he can't have it. It's my turn to set the traps. The fox is mine. That's forest law. All right, keep your wig on. Anyway, I've decided to give it to Angela Bowers. Oh, mushy. She helped you escape in Brendan, and she came to warn us about the search party. How are you going to give it to her? I'll find a way. You'd always pass it up and ask Smoko to give it to her. Oh, no. Well, I say the oak tree was about here, OK? You want to take a mile or two? I'd say that we're about right, miss. According to Sergeant Bunting, that is. He reckons it's just about dead centre. And we found in the saucepan about here. Right, Jack? About half a mile due east of the oak. Ernie, which way has the search party been going? They've been beating the woods from west to east, so they come on the tree from this direction. So the boys heard the beaters coming and beat a hasty retreat to the east. Now, assuming they dropped the saucepan here... Big assumption. Assuming they did, we should be able to continue this line to find out exactly where they were going. Unless, of course, they were intending to go straight out of the forest on this side, they must have been heading for somewhere specific. What's that mark there? 
Well, I'll be damned. What is it? It's the charcoal kilns. Smoko Joe, of course. He's hiding them. No wonder they just vanished. I'm not moving out of that door until the rain stops. I'm on Mr. Rumble. Uh. Where not for you, is it? Uh. Ah, how gardener. What they be? You shall, sure, Ernie. You shall sure telephone. I help yourself. Cherry Walden, 1-6. Are you please, Mrs. Baines? Doctor. Hello, uh, Miss Alcorn. It's Mr. Rumbold here. Uh, no, no, Miss, I, I've never reached the station. You best get Miss Ensman to send a taxi to fetch the Colonel. Uh, no. Too wet for the trap, Miss. Colonel be at drowned before I got him back to the dower house. No, Miss, I'll stay here till the storm passes. And then I'll bring the trap back. Uh, yeah. Very well, Miss. Goodbye. They're in an hurry, are they? This dang weather ain't no good for man or beast. Ah! It's stupid, we're soaked already. I might just as well go back to Smoko's. No one's going to be searching for the bear in weather like this. You're not supposed to walk under trees when there's lightning. Oh, shut up and come on. <laughs> 